the market on the brink unraveling the causes of a catastrophic crash. In the eerie quiet before the storm, a sense of impending doom looms over the financial markets. Investors, once buoyed by optimism and growth, now find themselves teetering on the edge of a precipice. The market is crashing, and the world watches in horror as fortunes are wiped out in the blink of an eye. What is causing this catastrophic collapse? Let's delve into the dramatic forces driving the market to its knees. As the once booming economy grinds to a halt, the specter of recession casts a long dark shadow over the market. The signs were there declining consumer spending, plummeting business investment, and a relentless rise in unemployment. The economic engine sputters, and with it, the hopes of countless investors. Inflation, once a whisper, roars like a lion, eroding purchasing power and corporate profits. Conversely, deflation threatens to plunge the economy into a vortex of reduced spending and investment. The market, caught in this vicious cycle, spirals downward. The collapse of major financial institutions sends shockwaves through the market, shattering investor confidence. Bank failures, reminiscent of past financial nightmares, become a chilling reality. The credit crunch tightens its noose, strangling the lifeline of businesses and consumers alike. Over-leveraged companies crumble under the weight of their own debt, dragging the market further into the abyss. The domino effect is unstoppable, as one institution after another succumbs to the pressure. The bubble bursts speculation's day of reckoning. The relentless pursuit of profit had driven asset prices to dizzying heights, creating speculative bubbles destined to burst. The market, inflated beyond its intrinsic value, stands on shaky ground. As reality sets in, the bubbles burst with devastating force. Overvalued stocks plummet, dragging down the dreams of those who believed in their perpetual rise. The speculative frenzy turns into a nightmare, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Geopolitical chaos, the world's unrest. The world is a tinderbox, and geopolitical events are the sparks that ignite the market's downfall. Wars and conflicts erupt, casting uncertainty over global stability. Political instability, with governments collapsing and revolutions brewing, sends tremors through the financial system. Trade wars escalate, severing the delicate threads of global commerce. The market, unable to withstand the barrage of geopolitical shocks, crumbles under the weight of uncertainty. Panic and pandemonium the investor's nightmare. In the face of mounting losses, panic grips the hearts of investors. The once orderly market descends into chaos as fear takes hold. Panic selling becomes rampant, triggering a cascading effect that drives prices even lower. Herd behavior, where investors blindly follow the actions of others, amplifies the crash. Algorithmic trading systems designed to execute rapid-fire trades exacerbate the situation, flooding the market with sell orders that deepen the crisis. As if the financial turmoil weren't enough, natural disasters strike with unrelenting fury. Earthquakes, hurricanes, and pandemics disrupt economic activity, compounding the market's woes. The world reels from the impact of these unforeseen catastrophes, and the market, already on the brink, plunges into further despair. Technological disruptions and cyber attacks add to the chaos, undermining the very foundations of the financial system. The current crisis a perfect storm. Today, the market crash unfolds as a perfect storm of global economic uncertainty, interest rate changes, and corporate earnings decline. Slowing global growth and escalating trade tensions create a toxic brew of fear and instability. Central banks' sudden interest rate adjustments send shockwaves through the market, affecting borrowing costs and investment decisions. Disappointing earnings reports act as the final nail in the coffin, sealing the market's fate. As the dust settles and the market crash reaches its devastating climax, the world is left to pick up the pieces. Fortunes have been lost, dreams shattered, and the future uncertain. Governments and central banks scramble to intervene, hoping to stabilize the financial system. Recovery will be slow and painful, with lasting impacts that reshape the economic landscape. This dramatic tale of market collapse serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of our financial systems and the unpredictable nature of global markets. Understanding market crashes causes, effects, and historical examples. What is a market crash? A market crash is a sudden and significant decline in the value of a market, particularly the stock market. This sharp drop typically occurs over a few days or weeks and leads to substantial financial losses for investors. Market crashes are often characterized by panic selling, extreme market volatility, and a widespread loss of confidence in the financial system. Defining a market crash. A market crash can be defined by several key factors. Magnitude of decline a market crash usually involves a steep decline in market indices, often more than 10% within a short period. In severe cases, the drop can exceed 20%. 
Speed of decline, the rapidity of the decline, is a distinguishing feature of a crash. Unlike regular market corrections, which occur more gradually, crashes happen quickly and often unexpectedly. Market sentiment crashes are accompanied by widespread panic and a significant shift in investor sentiment from optimism to fear. This panic selling exacerbates the decline in prices. Economic indicators crashes are sometimes triggered by underlying economic problems such as a recession, financial instability, or geopolitical events. These indicators can exacerbate the severity of the crash. Causes of market crashes. Several factors can trigger a market crash. Economic factors, recessions, high unemployment rates, and declining consumer confidence can lead to market instability and crashes. Financial instability problems within the financial system, such as the collapse of major financial institutions or a credit crunch, can precipitate a crash. Geopolitical events, political instability, wars, and other geopolitical events can create uncertainty and lead to panic selling in the markets. Speculative bubbles, when asset prices are driven to unsustainable levels due to speculation, the eventual burst of the bubble can cause a market crash. What happens during a market crash? When a market crashes, several things typically happen. Panic selling investors rush to sell their stocks to avoid further losses, which drives prices down even more. Loss of wealth, the value of investments declines sharply, leading to a significant loss of wealth for investors. Market volatility, the market experiences extreme volatility with large swings in stock prices. Economic slowdown, consumer confidence drops, leading to reduced spending and investment, which can slow down the overall economy. Bankruptcy, some businesses, especially those with high levels of debt or those in struggling sectors, may go bankrupt. Historical examples of market crashes. 1. 1929 stock market crash. The 1929 crash, also known as Black Tuesday, led to the Great Depression. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell nearly 25% in just a few days. This crash was fueled by speculative investments, margin buying, and a lack of regulatory oversight. 2. 1987 Black Monday On October 19, 1987, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped by 22.6% in a single day. This crash was exacerbated by computer-based trading strategies and investor panic. 3. 2008 Financial Crisis The 2008 crisis was triggered by the collapse of the housing market and major financial institutions. The crash led to a severe global recession, massive government bailouts, and significant regulatory changes. Recovering from a market crash often involves government and central bank intervention to stabilize the market. This can include monetary policy adjustments, fiscal stimulus, and bailouts of key financial institutions. Over time, markets tend to correct themselves, and prices may recover, though this process can take months or even years. The long-term impacts of a crash can include changes in regulatory policies, shifts in investor behavior, and broader economic transformations. For example, the 2008 financial crisis led to the Dodd-Frank Act, which aimed to prevent a similar collapse in the future. Market crashes are a stark reminder of the volatility and uncertainty inherent in financial markets. While they can lead to significant short-term pain for investors in the economy, they also provide opportunities for learning and growth. Understanding the causes and effects of market crashes can help investors and policymakers better navigate and mitigate the impacts of these financial shocks. Feel free to adjust or expand on any section to better fit your needs.